Hey, what's going on YouTube? Roachosaurus here. And today we are getting Fortnite Season 3 Chapter 4 leaked. Let's find out what's going on. Let's go! Fortnite Season 3 has just been leaked already and we have a bunch of new information for you guys alongside some really cool free rewards and a ton of secrets in the Miles Morales update. So don't go anywhere because you do not want to miss out on today's video. And remember, I do gift 5 subscribers every single day. To people who do, drop a like on the video, subscribe with all notifications turned on and leave a comment with your epic ID name down below so I can add you guys. And a huge thank you to everyone popping in my support credit code Apple One as it does mean an absolute ton. With Fortnite Season 3 Chapter 4 only two weeks away, this season's gone so fast fast all of the leaks have started to roll out and fortnite have actually even started to add season 3 to the testing servers getting ready for its release on june the 9th and yesterday of course okay. nintendo switch did it again they leaked the battle pass image yeah in nintendo has a bad habit of leaking stuff especially fortnite the store which is literally like the fourth time in a row them doing this and it's like this green tropical theme which matches the leak theme for season three perfectly with a confirmed jungle biome coming next season and we know where this py is actually going to take place on the map there have been a ton of earthquakes and cracks all forming around the center of the map with now roots coming through them and this is where the zero points has been stored at the start of this season with the newly leaked battle pass image it is giving us tropical colors and the jungle biome is confirmed to be getting added next season a big jungle POI will grow through the middle of the map with a huge tree consuming the zero points just like the reality tree back in chapter three because that mm. took energy from the zero points and it looks like this new jungle biome will be doing the same thing which is going to be absolutely insane which will then make the zero points unstable for the storyline of season four then we'll end chapter four and head into chapter five in December with that huge chapter five leak that came out a few weeks ago and the zero point disabling blowing up this island which is going to be pretty insane bro but a brand new jungle biome will be coming to the center of the map next I can't wait for the jungle biome to come. Honestly, loved the, uh, what was it, Chapter X that the jungle theme was in, and they had, like, the predator, they had dinosaurs, all that cool stuff. It wasn't the best season, in my opinion, but uh, those features were pretty cool. Season, which is going to be absolutely nuts. We also have a bunch of battle pass skins to talk about later on the video, so don't go anywhere. In this new update, there were actually no new live event leaks, which means we won't be getting one at the end of this season, but instead... Well... Now, he's saying that, but we did just cover a video where they were saying there might be a Attack on Titan live event, according to Aaron Yeager being in this current season with all the text from the NPCs saying rumbling. Apparently, Aaron Yeager was part of an event in the show called The Rumbling. So there might be an Attack on Titan event towards the end of the season. We don't know. We'll see. Head at the start of next season, just like in Chapter 2, Season 6 with the Zero Crisis event, as Fauna have added an event flag for an intro event as a solo experience, which has strings attached. Uh, please, Epic, please listen to your audience. We don't want single player events. We want events we can play with our friends and family, and we want you to bring back the the cinematic aspect where we're basically just watching on the island. The volcanic sounds and effects in the files with a bunch of earthquakes happening all over the island now and new cracks forming with roots in game which are actually for the reality tree and we've seen cracks and earthquakes happen back in chapter one for the season eight volcano and it looks like the intro event will be the volcano erupting and the reality tree somehow coming back to life it's going to be pretty interesting because we all know the herald is actually dead inside of the reality tree well yeah. we all originally thought so she's but trapped don't forget about the cyber dragon in mega city we're not sure why he's there and he definitely isn't there just for show but people are speculating that the more monster is actually going to come out of inside the volcano when it erupts and battle the I mean, cyber dragon sense. as a godzilla reference so keep a look out for the volcano getting more active and more active every single day it's gonna be i still want that godzilla thing to happen we'll see we'll see what's going on a pretty cool live event at the start of next season unfortunately we won't be getting one at the end of this season but we will be getting one at the start of next season but with us coming to the end of the month the next month's crew pack will be getting revealed any day now but we already know what it's going to be called, called yeah, the sticks. Stick it's actually been seen in this month's loading screen coming with some pretty cool cosmetics such as this like skull looking babbling it's pretty scary to be honest and his stitch slicer pickaxe and of course the 1000 v bucks you get with every single crew pack but this skin will be the final skin for the trilogy of these three skins and if you guys do remember in the past with the shadow crew pack skins we actually got a golden style for each one of these as well so we might actually be seeing an exclusive style for all three of these skins let me know in the comment section below cool. if you guys would like that and if you guys do own all three of these skins because they're actually really really cool 
But we do have our very first look at the first season free skin being the new starter pack being combat tech jewels, which I think looks really cool. I don't know why they're reusing skins, but either way, I'm super hyped for this starter pack to come out. But talking about season free skins, though, here's some battle pass skins for you guys that will be available starting with the secret skin for next season, which is actually going to be a one piece anime collab. Which really? We're going to get a one piece anime collab? Ooh, I know somebody who would love this. Lots of people are excited for this, as Fortnite have been loving adding the anime skins recently, and it fits the theme perfectly for next season with the summer vibe, and this skin has like shorts, a load of summer clothes on, so this skin will actually be the secret skin for next season, which is going to be so, so cool. But if you guys didn't know, all of the Battle Pass skins now actually all come from the skin surveys, and we actually know some skins that's going to be coming out next season, starting with Summer Meow Schools. He's oh, 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 bro! Summer Meow Schools, he actually looks pretty sick. I love the hairdo. It's like the slick back lion mane. He's got his shirt unbuttoned. He's got like a a chill summer shirt on. He's going to be coming out, bro. Fortnite have been working on this skin for such a long time. And he will actually have a back blink, a pickaxe, and two wraps, which sounds pretty cool. I imagine one wrap will be a bonus reward, but Summer Meow Schools is finally on the way. We will then be getting this big tiger skin for next season as well. Okay. As they've been working on them since the start of Chapter 4, and now actually have been given I'm some not new against strings it. in the files. I think it looks well pretty cool. As a wrap coming out, which means he will have a whole set of cosmetics, which is perfect for the battle pass. But Fortnite have also updated two survey skins in the new surveys the first one being this super cool casual girl skin which i think looks really cool and kind of has that battle pass vibe to it kind of like a sweaty skin i'm definitely going to be using this when it comes out and then obviously the bird skin which we mentioned in <laughs> bro this skin's sick i'll be playing this skin every day when we get it oh my god it's just it looks hilarious Oh god, I hope we get this skin so I can play it. Previous videos, and when Fortnite actually update a survey skin, it means it's very close to being released. So expect these two skins in next season's Battle Pass. I'm actually excited for the casual girl skin. I think it looks pretty cool. Gonna be a very, very sweaty skin. But we also have a new look at a possible pack coming in Season 3 as well, called the Grim Horizon pack, which I think looks so, so sick. He comes with a skin, obviously, the Bapling, which is like a hoverboard, which is also his glider. I think it looks so when okay. you play his glider, it actually comes off it's not my favorite. uses it as a glider. And he also comes with a pickaxe, which I think this pack could be my new favorite pack. Obviously, this image is in the files, but the cosmetics currently aren't in the files. They'll most likely be getting added when Season 3 launches. But you guys can see the skin's like kind of this like cyborg kind of metal half arm skin. It looks absolutely nuts, bro. This is by far going to be one of the coolest things coming out in next season. But we will also be seeing a ton of new weapons. A new mythic drum shotgun is releasing next season. Please, no, don't bring back the mythic drum shotgun. Everybody who's ever played any past season with this weapon in it knows it's OP, and it pissed a lot of people off. ...as well, which does 73 bomb <laughs> damage on 109 headshots. See, this it's just is crazy. Just ridiculous. This thing is going to be so overpowered <laughs> with a free fire rate, so it's actually slower than the original one we did see, and a three-second reload time, which means this gun is going to be the most broken thing ever next season, bro. It sounds like next season's going to be pretty insane, because we also do have have a new smart smg just like the lock-on pistol oh god a smart smg now too what are they trying to do they're just gonna have to nerf these after like a week this thing is gonna be nuts next season we're not sure if it's gonna have a fast fire rate a slow fire rate i imagine quite a slow fire rate but but the lock-on pistol is good so i'm quite scared for this smart smg but we then have a new weapon that increases fire rate as you shoot it so here are three confirmed weapons for season three it's sounding to be a pretty crazy season with the volcano erupting i'm actually very very excited and they're also going to be unvolting the lever action rifles next season, which I'm not quite sure if anyone's going to use the lever action when this mythic drum shotgun's in the game. But either way, we're going to be seeing a lot more new weapons come out next season, which I'm extremely, extremely excited for. But if you guys don't know, Fauna have actually removed Siphon from all competitive playlists. I noticed that. Um, well, I haven't even found it in like regular play mode either. Uh, Siphon, I haven't seen it in a while, so... And future tournaments, which I think is a really bad decision from <laughs> Fortnite's behalf. But if you guys don't know what Siphon is, it's not in normal games. It's only in competitive playlists. Well, not anymore. But when you got a kill, you actually got health or shield, depending what you were low on. So if you guys are... Okay, so it's, it was only in competitive. Okay. 100 health and 50 shield, and you got an elimination, you guys would gain shield. And they're removing it completely, which I think is a really, really bad choice, because with the brand new ranked pros right now, you kind of do need Siphon. It was a really, really key thing, but hopefully 
if they take back their decision and actually re-add it because honestly it was so so good but the kinetic blade has actually been disabled from ranked for a game breaking bug which is actually insane so if you guys don't know what it is when you disconnected your wi-fi when using the kinetic blade you're actually still in the game and you actually be able to go and attack the player and then reconnect your wi-fi and you would have killed them but you wouldn't have moved on your screen they're inside a box when they see you obviously you'll be dead within literally a split second because you're just sat there not taking any damage and you're just completely lagged out so they have actually been giving out bans for this where people have actually been doing it for about a day or so so if you guys did do it that's you're crazy in for a treat for a ban because it was absolutely insane but that's everything in today's video for you guys hopefully you guys did enjoy remember if you guys are new make i feel like that actually happened to me the other day i got hit by a sword and i was just like frozen for like three seconds and then i was knocked you guys do hit that big red subscribe button for me as we are so so close to 700,000 subscribers and if you guys are excited for season three make sure you guys do drop a like on today's video and i see you guys in the next one so there you guys have it that's the leak for season three of what we have as far as information goes so far let me know what you're most interested about coming to season three down in the comments and what you might possibly want to see come to season three down in the comments until next time i'll see you guys on the next one Hey guys, if you like the video, make sure you head over to the page, hit that like button, scroll over, smash that subscribe, and hit that bell icon to get notified for future video drops, and I will see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.